Good evening, everyone. We begin with the incredible story of two men who lived each other's lives. They were switched at birth in a Manitoba hospital and only found out 67 years later. Now they're dealing with so many questions on how it happened and their own identities. CTV's Taylor Brock on the sudden and jarring shift in their reality. How do you grab the wrong baby? Eddie Ambrose and Richard Bove were born in Arburg on June 28, 1955, but they went home with the wrong biological parents. I got to heal this torn heart of mine, uh, which it's not going to be easy. Ambrose says he grew up with a loving Ukrainian family, but it wasn't until the sister he grew up with and her daughter dove into their own DNA that his sister learned something was wrong. The DNA came back as you have a brother, but your brother is in B.C. That was Richard Bove. A later DNA test confirmed Ambrose was not her biological brother. If it was just me at the beginning, I found out about this switch and nobody else knew about it, I would have just burnt the papers. I would have carried on quite happily who I was and what I did. Bove grew up being a proud Métis. The funny thing about all that is is um, I never realized I was proud to be Native until it was taken away. Manitoba Métis Federation President David Chartrand says many people like Ambrose are learning they are Métis and want to connect with their heritage. He says they will connect Ambrose with 60 scoop survivors, supports and help with legal efforts if needed. Utmost priority for us is let him first build with his family, give him the time he needs, uh, our office is ready to work in there. Ambrose has begun meeting his biological siblings, including learning he went to school with a biological sister, and another sister walked past his house in Winnipeg almost every day. He and Bove have yet to meet in person. But what I've what I've lost in the past, uh, that's what I would say I was I was robbed at. He's hoping someone will acknowledge the mistake made at the hospital 67 years ago. I need to get my uh, identity back. I need, I need to prove who I am. The men say they haven't met yet, but they hope to in the future. They both say that they're frustrated no one has taken responsibility. And the province says that it didn't run the facility at the time, and the local health authority says it can't comment on personal matters. Omar? What a revelation to have to deal with. CTV's Taylor Brock in Winnipeg tonight.